I've been the Gucci all my life. It is an empire. You can help the family. Gucci is not exciting, and everybody knows it. Well, at least it's my name, sweetie. Our name, sweetie. I saw the movie last night. It is delicious. I know. <laughs> that was very Ooh. nice. I mean, it is operatic. So delicious, oh. I think, kind of makes sense. It's it's grand. House of Gucci, sort of Shakespearean title, isn't it? And, and it's a tragedy. Shakespeare, had he been alive, I think, would have written the script. It's a big story. I knew a little bit about the murder. I remember hearing about it. What did you know about it? Nothing. Nothing until uh, Ridley sent me the script. And the script was my first kind of entry point to it. And then after that, I, you know, tried to do as much research as you can, you know, obviously. Then I started to go back to what the movie was, uh, our, our version of it, you know. When I read the book, that was when it all flowered out for me and 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 i could see that there was a tremendous film to be made here because his wife uh, gina nina has been uh, trying i think for 20 years to get it made and finally persuaded her husband to film it first of all ridley scott one of my heroes you know the guy who did alien and blade runner and Thelma and louise american gangster and gladiator i mean just like the martian maybe one of the longest slash most relevant careers by any filmmaker. I mean, he just has spent decades. So Lady Gaga walks on set. It's her second movie. Yeah. She is in it. She's method. Tell me about that first day filming with Lady Gaga. You know, it's just like working with great actors and she's a great actor. So we were, it's like, it's like what that is, which is people who are prepared. They're on, on time. They're all great actors. And I don't think any one of us had the same process. We were all yeah. different. She's just really brave. Uh, mm -hmm. She's a brave artist. And of course we all know that because we've seen her work for so long. And, you know, she's, she's as brave on that set as she is on that stage. She played that character absolutely right. And yet there was, when you're sitting talking to her between takes, she's just a normal person, feet on the ground, always thinking, what, how can we improve this? How can we get it better? And no, complete joy, true professional. You know, making films, it, you're under an incredible amount of pressure. Mm. Uh, if you're facing time, your performance, someone else's performance, technology, you know, nothing is designed to help you on set. So <laughs> there is something really moving about someone who acknowledges that all those obstacles are happening, but they're totally present with you. And that's what it was like uh, working with her. We, we, no one was anywhere else other than right there. Did you recognize Jared Leto when he first walked on set as Paolo? No, no. The first time I actually see saw Jared as Jared was during all this press uh, stuff, you know, and what he does in the movie, I think is great. It's really, it's, it's really fearless. I loved watching it. I love doing those scenes with him. Jared is a very, very retiring man. He's very private. So in a way, he was hiding inside all of that and being someone totally different from himself. I was amazed and amused by his performance in equal measure. I have a very immersive process and I enjoy being as committed as I can be, as dedicated as I can be. I think that's my job and I am passionate about that. I'm passionate about transformation. And I love when other people are committed and passionate. And then Al Pacino playing my father was just mind blowing. So generous, so warm, so... You know, it's funny, the very first day that uh, we were on set, I showed up and, you know, he kind of brushed me off. And I thought, oh, well, okay, maybe he's busy doing something. And then I came up again and I said something. He's just, it was like, you know, you could tell he was kind of trying to get away from me. And then someone whispered to him, that's Jared. And he turned around and he said, my son and he fell on the floor and he just like couldn't believe you know it's the first time he had seen me as paulo that response that reaction and having al pacino give me that gift of faith that he had in me really carried me through the film and it was an unbelievable relationship and he was just the 
just a perfect partner in crime. You know, we had the script, but there was a lot of improv and interpretation of what it was. And people were really prepared, but really willing to throw their ideas away in sacrifice of something that was uh, presenting itself in the moment. And everybody was like that. You could make a left turn and everybody was so eager to go there. It was kind of with fearless actors. It was really great. I subscribe to unconventional punishments. 